detected talk of the afternoon, August the 17th, 542. What do you think about them? They were wild turkeys, boys, if you can believe that. And I'm standing about 45 feet from them with this camera. Well, enough on the turkeys. You know, I've had one person on one farm ask me why he should watch the videos I've showed with that deus too. You know. Well, here's the real simple answer. If you own a deus too, the answer is yes. If you use a deus too, and the answer is yes. And if you use sensitive FT program. On version 1.1 or 2.0, the answer is yes. You probably should watch the video. Sharpshooter cannot tell you all of the possible negative situations out there or situations that you could come across where what looks like a bug, depending on which frequency shift channel the machine is in at the current time, what it could cause to happen. Could you miss targets? Could you find targets? I believe you could miss some. I would suspect, based on what I've seen, deeper targets, you may not see that much of, a, of an effect. And what I mean by deeper, I'm talking about seven inch plus maybe, but don't hold me to that, okay? Hunting in heavy iron where targets can exist between one, let's just say, down to six inches. You could have trouble locating some of those targets with that, with those sensitive FT and those two versions. Depending on which frequency scan channel you're in and the EMI of possible effects, okay? Now, this is a no-fluff YouTube channel. But that doesn't mean I don't talk about something good with a metal detector. Okay? I'm getting cross-talk. If you're a salt beach hunter, or you want to be a salt beach hunter, you want to buy you a backup machine? The crosstalk I'm getting is that triple score with this latest update is dynamite. You'll have to call your dealers or whatever to see what they're going to charge you. But the sharpshooter is getting crosstalk that that is a very good setup for the salt beach. Now, I've not heard any feedback from land hunting per se, you know, in the soil. Wet salt sand, it's dynamite from what I hear. Okay. Knocked a triple score. I heard it this morning. Cross talk. Alright. Now, if I would have heard cross talk this morning at that machine, somebody told me it had some problems. I'd probably be t mentioning that, but that's not what I heard. Okay. So, it, yeah, this is a no fluff YouTube channel, but when I hear of some very good performance, very good stability on that machine is the reports. Very good with depth. I'm not going to tell you how deep that machine is. <clears throat> but we, I will say this based on what I'm hearing. If you take a U.S. nickel and you start burying it in wet salt sand and you do the math of what you pay per inch to detect that nickel, I don't need to say any more, do I? See, you can pay several dollars once you get past a certain depth per inch okay that's just the truth that's the way it's been but the price might be coming down boys and girls you may have a buddy out there that's wanting to get in a salt beach on now that machine does have land capabilities now but i've not heard any feedback on that 
on those issues with that machine, you know, how it does. Well, anyway, that's going to conclude the detecting talk of the afternoon. Them turkeys are going behind that barn there so they can go right up our roof behind that barn. You set your clock by these dudes, boys. Two mamas and their babies. They're going down there. That's old mama right there. One of them. That's two of them. Two mamas and their babies. 